And Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskin still tracking the tropics. Bobby, what are we keeping an eye on here tonight? Well, first I wanted to show you the latest readings from the area for red tide. They do this every week. They're always looking for it. It's tough to see, and that's great news. These little gray dots you see up and down the coast mean they are not measuring any red tide. Those will be colored if they will. So right now things look good, and hopefully they will stay that way. Now on the tropic side, We've got the 11th name storm of the season just formed here at 5 o'clock. There it is. It's actually the remnants of what was Hurricane Julia, the one that went all the way across the Southern Caribbean. But look at that. Recon's out there right now, and they found a closed low down here on the bottom end. I know you see all that convection move off to the north, but the circulation is actually down here to the south. Here's the latest forecast. We should not have to worry about that here. I know a lot of folks don't want to see anything like this, but the forecast keeps it in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, the Bay of Campeche, and then moves it around to the north and the west and then to the southwest. Keeps it at about 45, 50 mile per hour wind, so it'll be a tropical storm, but it looks like that's it. Right now it has minimal winds at about 45 miles per hour. The good news is, is that we may get some clouds, perhaps a little bit of rain mixed in, but there's a cold front coming Thursday and a high pressure behind it. That's what's keeping everything at bay. There'll be another one of these by the time we get towards tomorrow, or I should say Tuesday of next week as well. So we're going to keep this pattern that brings these high pressures that tend to protect us from the tropics down south.